Here we go, left to right. All right, so this week I got my good buddy David Archer and we are talking about Nikon's new 500 f 5.6 PF lens that David got, which is hand holdable, razor sharp, and a lot of fun. All right, so David's here from South Carolina, came up to run the Olympic National Park workshop with me. We're in La Push, Washington, here along the waterfront, the town where we're staying. It's just inside the park. Uh, and we've been playing around here, around the pier with David's brand new toy. Tell everybody what, what this guy is. Yeah. yeah, this is Nikon's new 500 millimeter f5.6 PF lens. And it is awesome. It is awesome. It's funny because, so David and I have been running workshops together for the last couple of years, and every time we get in a workshop, one of us costs the other one money, you know? Yes. Uh, I, 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 he's, he's been running around with my Nikon Z6, shooting some stuff with a 105 millimeter 1.4, uh, lens that I convinced him to buy in the in the Charleston workshop, yes. and I've got the 300 PF lens, the 300 millimeter version of this that he convinced me to buy. Yeah, that one. Uh, gosh, a couple like a year and a half ago when he was in Cannon <clears throat> Beach up in the Oregon coast. Yes. Um, but I got to say, you know, we're running a we're running a workshop next year in Costa Rica, and I think I got to have one of these 500 PFs for that. I mean, just the fact he does. That, yeah, I do. It's razor sharp. So I've been, I've been shooting here. I've been capturing birds in flight. I'm using Nikon Z7 with the FTZ adapter and I've been uh, using firmware 2.0. I'm in the AFF mode, autofocus continuous with that AFF uh, kind of the automatic area mode. And it's been picking up birds in flight. It's even been tracking them when there's a closer subject. It's doing a really fine job. But this lens is fast. The vibration reduction is doubled up when you've got the in-body image stabilization along with what's going on inside the lens. It's razor sharp. I've even been using it with the 1.4 teleconverter. Yeah, I hadn't tried that. Yeah, and it seems to be razor sharp even with that 1.4. So with the 1.4, what are we talking about, 700 millimeters? And then if you throw that on an APS-C camera like yeah. the D500, Holy cow, yeah, we're talking a thousand. Seven, yeah, 750 without the... Without the teleconverter. Yeah. So, fun, fun stuff. I mean, the fact that you can just kind of throw it on, sling it around, um, it's fast focusing, razor sharp. I'll show you some, some images as we're talking here of you know, some seagulls that I caught in flight, and we've got some pelican shots. Dave, you've been shooting some, some wildlife in the yard and stuff? I have. Yeah. Yeah, I just got it a couple of weeks ago, and it's been really hot in South Carolina. I haven't gone out shooting too much, so sat on my front porch and got some bumblebees on flowers, got some birds in the yard, and you like this is, yeah, this is my first trip with it. Hadn't well, done much wildlife on this trip, but. Well, I can tell you that. It's gonna be good for future use. Oh cause, man. Because I've been schlepping around a 400 millimeter 2.8, which is really too heavy to handhold for me, so it requires a gimbal head and a heavy duty tripod. If you're out in a boat, it's no good. So in Costa Rica, this will be awesome. Well, you know, last this, this spring when we were in Charleston doing the Charleston, South Carolina workshop, we were shooting birds and wildlife, and I was playing with David's 400 2.8 and coveting it. So in actuality, bringing this 500, 56. I saved you money. You might be saving me money. <laughs> but I, I think I'm going to try to get it before Patagonia. We're going to Patagonia this fall. Yeah. Uh, and there's enough, you know, this, this I could travel to Patagonia with. I mean, there's, and there's enough, you know, guanaco and condors and foxes and swans that this could just be magic out there. Yeah. So and I was concerned at first about being 5.6. Right. But it just coincided with the improvement of technology to reduce noise. Right, right. The new Topaz AI denoise filter is yeah. fantastic. Yeah, David's been showcasing that and I've been impressed with it. I like noise wear, I like Lightroom's noise reduction too. And the fact is, you know, one thing I've noticed with the, the, the Z7 and the Z6, they come with corrections built in. Uh, they're, they're, you know, keyed to the lens, keyed to the ISO of the camera. And a lot of people are complaining, well, when I get it, you know, the noise reduction settings are already done. Well, I'm finding that they've been engineered really, really well. You can always turn, pull those sliders back if you want and do the noise reduction and sharpening yourself or get rid of it. But you were looking at some of those images in class where I was shooting at 4,500 ISO on the Z7 and they look clean as can be. It's just 
sort of been engineered by the engineers for the corrections in, in Lightroom's noise reduction does such a fabulous job. Yeah. You know, a question that I've been getting a lot lately, you know, I've done a couple videos. I think some of the shots that I have with this 500 birds in flight with, with you know, zero cropping, how, how razor sharp it's capturing birds in flight, picking them up. Um, kind of tells that the firmware 2.0 in this camera is a lot better. But you've been running around the classroom with that 105 1.4, shooting some of the workshop participants. And what is your oh. thought with the Z6? Because so, so David's been a full on yeah. SLR, not getting the, the mirrorless yet, but I kind of, he, he's been dabbling with the Z6 on this trip and I'm curious, what are you thinking? It's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I've been, been trying to hold out, but it's pretty nice. Yeah. The viewfinder is really incredible. So we've been out shooting some blue hour photos and you know I've been working in conditions where it's difficult to even see to focus. Even using that really great live view on the Z6, Z7, it's, it's just tricky. If you zoom in, it's getting a little bit grainy. And in that firmware 2.0, for those of you shooting with the Z6 and Z7, there's also a setting. Go in there, look through your settings. There's one for turning on low light autofocus. That might be a problem if you're shooting models or sports or something in lower light because it's going to slow everything down. But for landscapes, it slows everything down, amplifies the ISO in some kind of crazy magic clean way. And then it, it'll zoom in and find that focus. You have to be in AFS, you have to be in a single servo mode and either single point or pinpoint autofocus area. And it does this magical job. It takes a little minute and then you'll get a green, a, a, a green focus square. Take that shot, zoom in on it. And it's like, holy cow, it's perfect. You gotta find a contrasty area to put the point on. But it's been, you know, that's a newer thing. I haven't been out in blue hour photographing with it so much, but it works really really well i want to try it with, with like a planet at night yeah and see yeah. if it'll see if it'll work with stars because it really might so i guess the 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 final question for you though is if, if you feel like you're surprised by the autofocus with the z6 and z7 yeah especially with the firmware update it's really an improvement yeah it really is all right man well we're having an awesome workshop we have a really incredible crew of folks. We're about yeah. halfway through it. Good the light's been sort of hit or miss, but we have a really fun group. There's times where it feels a little like herding cats because everybody's having so much fun together and they, they get into gaggles and all into photography. And it's just, I don't know, it's been, it's hard to imagine a better group of people. I know. Um, and it looks like we might have a decent sunset tonight. That's Fingers right. Across. We're Ruby down, Beach. Heading down to Ruby Beach tonight. All right, so we'll see you all next week. Thanks so much, David. All right. Appreciate it. And you know, it cost me money, but I'm excited yeah, about yeah. it. <laughs> Ditto. <All right. laughs>